All right, so we're gonna get back into Fortnite here because I have a very bad feeling this game's about to fall off a cliff and they need to fix this game now or it's gonna be dead. So people say, you know, you have people always saying like, oh, it's not gonna die, like Cypher PK and all these other content creators. Now I want you guys to understand, they have creator codes. They do not wanna lose those codes. So they're gonna to lie to you guys. They're just gonna say, oh, the game's doing great. and. They're going to say what Fortnite, you know, wants to hear, basically. Because when clicks, this is the king of Fortnite, in my opinion. He has more viewers than anybody. It's not even close. Per day, like watching him play Fortnite. You know, he got smart with Donald Mustard, lost the creator code. He said he lost millions, millions of dollars when he lost the creator code. So these other content creators can't lose it. So they're always going to say he's doing well. And, you know, it's nonsense. The game's been dying very slowly. So since chapter two, season six, they've lost uh, players every single season. Season seven, eight, nine, whatever, you know, going to chapter three, chapter four, they're losing a lot of players. And what we need to get into here is why this is happening and how can it be fixed so people can enjoy Fortnite again, where it feels like the Fortnite in chapter two, because that's when Fortnite really blew up. So I, I didn't play chapter one, so I'm not going to go over that. But this video here, if you guys want to watch it, I'll leave a link in the description. Um, it shows every chapter since chapter two all the way to chapter four, every single season, the player count. So they lost 20 million players. And chapter four, season one is not over. This is what they've lost so far. And they're also going to change servers for FNCS from the east and west coast to central. So a lot of more you know, FNCS players, pro players are going to quit and they have fans and these fans, they can't watch them anymore are going to quit. So, I mean, they're down 20 million in one month. I mean, you add that up over a year, losing 20 million players a month, this game will die if they don't fix it. And I think the main problem is the map. So we're going to go to this guy's channel here. I recommend you guys adding him. He did a great video here. It shows like the evolution of Fortnite's map each season. Did it really well. If he wants to copyright my channel or the video here, he can have it. I don't know how to give it to him because this is his video. But I want to show you guys the map changes and how, you know, the map has changed has made the game worse. And this is the main problem with Fortnite is the map is just not good anymore. It looks nice. It looks really nice in Chapter 4. They did a really nice job of the look. But the places like that you land and stuff like that and fight at, it's, it's not done right. And you have all these sweats all over the map and they're just taking everyone out and it just, it just doesn't work. And why was chapter two, why was this map so good? Why did it bring so many people to Fortnite? Well, they had Lazy Lake right here and they had Pleasant Park up here. Now, both of these places are on the each side of the map and sweats love to land here. They either landed here, they all migrated right here, or you land here. So if you wanted to play against really good players on the drop, you land at these two spots. So say I played squads, right? When I play with my sweaty friends, wherever the bus started from here or here, we either landed here or we landed here. And you know, we got to battle against other sweats. And then when I played with my nephew, he liked landing at sweaty sands, craggy cliffs, so since all the sweats are over here, all the weaker players of like my nephew's caliber would land here, here, Holly Hedges, Weeping Woods, Slurpee Swamp was a good spot to land. If you're doing like a solo daily mission and you had to get like top five or something, you just land here, get all your slurp and then work your way back to the middle of the map so you could get top five by the end of the game. So there was always like a good place to land for whatever you had to do. Um, Misty Meadows was a good spot. Like if you don't want to get too many sweaty players, Retail Row was a really good spot. And then after you kill like the weaker players, you come back over here. And sometimes the sweats, you know, they're, you know, fighting other sweats. They kill like, a, you know, the other team, but they lose a couple of players. They're trying to reboot. And then you're on your way over here and you get to take on, you know, four on two, four on three against these sweats. Sometimes you kill them with a weaker team because you built up your inventory from coming over here to here while they're just still trying to reloot and stuff. Um, so it worked out perfectly. It gave the weaker players a chance to beat them 
and at the same time stay away from them and play you know weaker players in the other parts of the map steamy stacks you got craggy cliffs all really good spots too and why were these spots so good they weren't these tall high-rise buildings i know a lot of people like tilted but i don't like going up three or four five you know sometimes seven eight floors of stairs chasing someone that's one shot it's not fun like it's too tall of the buildings and that's what you have in chapter four right now big tall buildings you're like looking for people everywhere and everybody's camping and you're looking for them all of a sudden you got shot from the back and you're out of the game you don't even know who killed you, you have to go back to replay to see who killed you and it's some guy you know camped under some stairs or something and it's just not fun playing that way so here on this map you know there's smaller like houses smaller buildings that's fine sweaty sands it had like one big hotel but the rest of it's all like houses trailer parks gas stations smaller areas so it's okay to have buildings maybe one or two stories maybe one big building but not too many so you can actually fight and play the game holly hedges was just a bunch of houses a nice little spot over here um retail row again it was like a bunch of little shopping center area some houses over here but not too big of a buildings lazy lake same thing in pleasant park you know it's just houses over here and all this open area right here so you can loot up at the houses without getting killed then everybody comes in the middle and fights and that was fun that's the way to do it the agency was a nice little spot to land too if you want to stay out of the storm and you know and get a mythic from you know whatever boss was here and then you work your way back to pleasant or lazy or wherever direction you want to go so it's really easy map to go around like you know if you ask what's right now from chapter two where, where would you, where do you like to land they say right away pleasant park and lazy lake you ask him oh okay chapter three where would you guys like to land it's like this is just a question mark chapter four where do you like to land it's a question mark nobody likes to land anywhere um so it's it, it's just something they they didn't do this right um back then they did they should have kept this map got rid of coral castle over here and then um changed that to something else they could have changed a few other spots um maybe this little bottom area down here nobody really went here they could change this to something else and change slurpy swamp you know to something else um and that's all they really needed to do and then keep the rest of the map and it was nice because it was all green so you don't see all this like and the chapter four maps all yellow or all the snow the, the snow is okay but it's, you, you slide around a lot because they put ice around the snow and it's just it's okay though the snow a little bit like this is fine but you need all this green green's good like that's just it's a nice color nice vibrant green color more lifelike you know to the area more nature looking you know type map not a dead looking map with a bunch of yellow fall colors and stuff like that it's just kind of sad and <laughs> it's just kind of depressing running around stuff like that for me anyways um but a little bit is okay the desert stuff again it's just very boring so this was chapter two okay and he's showing the evolution of it and here's coral castle it was terrible it was like a deep pit of water nobody liked it this is a marvel season i love this season it did lose 70 million players but it was because mobile got taken away um apple took their mobile down See a lot of open area. There's some hills, but not like huge mountains. This was really fun. This Iron Man complex right here. This was a new spot for sweats to land. And we would all fire it over here. So again, all the sweats migrated here, 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 and the weaker players had the rest of the map to land. And this is when Fortnite blew up. So this was chapter two, season five. They gained 65 million customers. See, there's a little bit of, uh, desert and it was this beautiful purple color added onto it and you could like go through the uh desert you could like uh crawl through it for a while but it was glitchy so they took it out and then christmas time they added a little bit of um snow they had this area here for uh i forgot the character's name but it was like a jungle area which was it's all right it was all right this is spy i think this is chapter two season six right here they gained like 25 million players and then this is where they start losing players they did the alien thing 
And the alien ships, they were so like OP, just killing everybody. People got tired of playing. So I wasn't a big fan of the alien ships. And then this was when, yeah, they took out uh, the slurpy swamps, the sludgy swamps. They kind of like destroyed it. I think the alien ship destroyed it or something. And this is last season when they had like the upside down areas. It was okay. But it got kind of tiring after a while. Like they should have had less spots. There's too many of these spots. Maybe a couple spots, but not like all over the map. But they, I don't think they lost too many players this last season. Chapter 2 season. I think it's like only a couple million. So people liked it. Wasn't too bad. Oh yeah, and we had mechs too. I don't really care for mechs. Some people like them though. And now we have the Chapter 3 map here. And... I'm gonna tell you guys like this could have been the worst map and it's why they quit after you know I think it was four seasons so again every season they lost players on this map they didn't have one season where they gained players and the main problem was there's just like mountains everywhere you're just running up and down mountains or even if you're like in the desert, it's all these like cliff areas, They're like rock cliffs in the way. You got to run around them, go through them, especially if you're playing like zero build, that's not fun. And so people didn't really like it. And there's no place for sweats to land again. Rocky Reels, that was about it. But Rocky Reels was a pit where it was a free for all. Everybody landed there, grabbed the gun and started shooting. It wasn't like lazy or... Um, Pleasant Park where you got to go into a house first where you're protected and grab a few weapons and then come out and fight You had like no protection. You just got to land and start fighting grab a weapon. That's not fun Like there's no skill at all there when you're doing that like give them a chance to grab some weapons I know a lot of people like tilted. They had like tilted over here again You're running up and down these stairs looking for someone that's one shot and he's you know He runs up, you know ten flights of stairs and then hides, you know under you know some stairs to reheal or something and you can't really fight or he jumps from one building to the next one and that one's full of stairs so you're basically like trying to find someone that's just camping the whole time when they're weak or when you're weak you're running away you you want them to engage and fight that's the point of fortnite that's what chapter two was about chapter three turned to something different and it just basically was a map where people could run away they could run up and down these mountains and it was a game for campers, basically. This was this was a perfect map if you like to camp. Tons of trees, tons of bushes, and I'm glad they got rid of it. But we'll look at the um, evolution of it. Now, I'm not saying the map doesn't look nice. I mean, they make really nice looking maps. But the gameplay on it, it, it just sucked. And the covert cavern. It's like a mountain you're trying to fight on. It was really weird. Very awkward. This was a nice looking map here. When they added all this purple and stuff in. And that tree of life or whatever it was. That looks beautiful. Like, I, I thought that looked really nice. But people didn't like it. They lost a lot of players. Then they bought this, this silver goo stuff. I didn't like that. It's just not Fortnite. People turn into goo and run away. It's, no, it's, again, it's for campers. And this is the chapter four map. So let's look at this map. You come to Frenzy here and it's, you know, again, it's, this is from like the chapter two map they had, but in chapter two, this was more in the middle. It was, I think it was called corny crops or something. Um, they put it towards the, the edge over here, like, you know, towards the water. 
and you know people don't want to try to like after they fight having to get out of the storm if the storm circle is over here somewhere like again this is a great spot for people that like to camp because they have like little cornfields um a bunch of haystacks and stuff like that so it's great for campers it's open like sweats want but there's too many people that can camp and hide away where you can't see them to fight so it's really not that great of a spot for sweats you got faulty splits here some shopping centers and stuff like that which is good like small buildings but then they have this thing that rises up these rocks that rise up this cliff thing to more little places up there where campers are going to land and they're going to stay up there and shoot at everybody that's fighting down below so it's not fair for like people that are below that are fighting down there because you got now these the campers are going to come up here and it gives like kind of an unfair advantage so basically you have to land up here and then camp and shoot at all the people down here that's not fun a fun way to play fortnite so it's an okay spot again but it's not like i have to land there slappy shores again too close to the water it's okay though um, but again too many big buildings over here and over here it's just too packed it in there's just too many houses and stuff over here so again there's no open area it's too like pushed in same with anvil square it's too many buildings the, the campers love stuff like this this game is turned into a game for campers basically they jump from house to house building to building like come on man let's fight it can i fight anybody or what that's what it feels like one of these guys is gonna fight me and they want to hide you know get in a certain area where you can't see them and then they start shooting at you so that's not fun shattered slaps it's like <laughs> it's like coral castle all these little dipped areas and you know there's people in the water there's people up higher it's too much high low area so so far there's like nowhere to really land for sweats anvil square no citadel this is where sweats tend to land this is where we ended up landing most of the time to get that gold hammer um, but it wasn't because we liked landing here again it's like a big castle you're going up and down these zip lines like looking for people that are one shot and then they like kind of hide and go to the bottom area where these little houses are and they hide down there then you got to come off of the castle and run over to them into these areas just to try to get a kill and it's just it's just too tall of a buildings bastion brutal bastion same thing big tall buildings and you know you're running up and down stairs it's it's not fun lonely labs is way too close to the water it's a good area though because they're smaller buildings and people can come out and fight so people do like to land here but you know it's not like i have to land here because after you get all the kills here now you got to come all the way back over here if the storm circle is on this side so it's not a great area breakaway water same thing smaller buildings good place to fight but Again, you have to come all the way back over here. The storm circles over here somewhere. So it's too close to the water. So now all these sweats, they don't know where to land anymore. They're just landing all over the map. And they're here, they're on every single spot now. So when you land, if I'm playing with like my nephew, like he quit this season. He finally just got fed up and quit because he couldn't get any kills. Everywhere we landed, there's sweats, right? Really good players. Because they don't have two favorite spots anymore, like in chapter two. They don't have it anymore. So they're landing all over the map. So you don't have any spot to loot up to, to face players of your caliber. And then, you know, if I play, if I played in chapter two, um, random squads, if I were weaker players, I knew where to pick. Okay, let's go to retail row. And then after we kill everybody at retail row, you know, with my weaker teammates and loot up and get better loot, then we work our way back to lazy and take on the better players. You know with more loot and better loot and stuff like that but here it's like man where do you guys want to pick and there's nowhere to pick everywhere i land they all die all of them i'll get a couple of kills they're all dead within one to two kills and there's nothing i can do i just end up, end up backing out of the game because all my teammates are dead they all backed out so i mean you know like last night after i played with my friends my sweaty friends we won several games didn't matter where we landed we ran into sweats and they were tough games, um, but we won just about all of them. And, you know, I asked them again, I said, where do you guys like landing? They said, I don't know. They said, all the places suck. And they don't really want to play it again. They just, it's not like how it was in chapter two, you know, with Pleasant and um, Lazy. So that's the big problem with Fortnite. There's just nowhere 
to really land um, for you know like the weaker players. So that that's something they're gonna have to fix. If they don't change this map, I'm gonna tell you guys they might lose a hundred million players within the next six months. Because I'm telling you, it's game after game. After I play with my friends, I play with weaker players. I got in randoms. There was only one game. I had a game with three other players that were decent players that knew how to play Fortnite, and we did really well. Other than that, every other game, everybody I played with, they were weaker players. They all died. Not one of them got a kill. Not one. I mean, I even rebooted a team, I think, three times. Um, it was two to three times. I rebooted my team. They died every single time not getting one kill. And when that happens and they can't get kills, you think they're going to come back and play Fortnite again? They're going to uninstall the game. And that's how they lost 20 million customers this season. 20 million. And it's the season's not over. This is something that needs to be fixed. And I needed to talk about this today because if they don't fix this soon, this game's dead. It's going to be completely dead. If you can, if you put chapter three to chapter four right now, season one, chapter three lost about 30 million players. Chapter four so far has lost 20 million in season one without it even ending yet. That's 50 million players. You just think each month that they lose 20 million players. How many players they're going to have at the end of the year? They're not going to have any. Them going to FNCS on central servers, I'm telling you, they're going to lose another 20, 30 million players from that. People are going to quit. They're not going to play. They got to change these buildings, do houses, do shopping centers, stop doing these big, tall castles, that big blimp thing up there where people land over the top of Tilted. And those guys would shoot down at everybody that was at Tilted. So that was another problem with Tilted in Chapter 3. They had that blimp up there. And that's where all the guys who like to camp and stuff, they'd go up there. And this is turned into a game for campers. And campers, they're just as bad as players that are cheating. Like when they're camping and doing it all the time. It's okay, you have to camp sometimes. But when these guys are camping in bushes and stuff or up on a cliff or in these buildings and constantly running away, it ruins the game experience. It's like it's, it's pubs, you know, like just fight, you know have some strategy but if you're just running away all the time this is not fun I'm, i don't want to chase someone across the map or up and down stairs in a building to try to get one kill and that to me is the biggest problem with fortnite right now so hopefully they can fix this i mean there's other issues with fortnite um a lot of the weapons and stuff people don't like that deku smash thing i mean the guy goes up in the air and takes out like my whole team in one blast that's not fun either um, you know, we want it to where we can fight a little bit and enjoy the experience and land somewhere of players of our caliber and get a few kills first, you know, not just die right away. Cause right now everybody's dying. Don't matter where you land. Uh, so make two spots for sweats, just like chapter two. That'll solve a lot of the problems and then let everyone else, you know, land at other spots where they can play players of their caliber. And I think that can bring a lot of people back. Yeah, subscribe to this guy right here. I didn't watch the whole thing, like the way, he, but it's really nice the way he did this. Xyla's. I hope I said that right. All right.